<sighs> hey, this is X Scott here. Just woke up from a nap. Figured I'd do a tutorial. Um, this is probably the most asked question that I get uh, about Source Filmmaker. Uh, I get this asked maybe once a week, which is, how do I get stuff from other games that aren't TF2 into Source Filmmaker? Um, so, Source Filmmaker uses Source, so you can actually use pretty much anything from any Source game out there in Source Filmmaker. Um, this isn't just the Valve games. You can use uh, Team Fortress, obviously, but you can bring in stuff from Portal 2, uh, Left 4 Dead, um, Day of Defeat, uh, even creepy games like Xenoclash or uh, Dear Escher even actually has some assets that work, so there are some crazy good sets you can use there if you're willing to recompile the maps. But Hammer is a terrible program created by monsters, so I don't highly recommend that. Um, but you could if you wanted to. All of these source games work, uh, and it's really just a matter of putting the files in the right place. Um, so I'm quickly going to go through this now. I actually haven't brought in Day of Defeat Source into my uh, Source Filmmaker, so I'm just going to go through it quickly and show you how it, it can be done. Uh, I'll also link you to a text version of this tutorial. Um, it's a great one. I've used it. Uh, I forget the name of the guy who made it, but... It's a pretty great thing, uh, just check the comments for that um, if you want a more detailed breakdown of all this. Uh, but first you're going to want a program called GCFscape. Uh, I'll link that in the um, comments. But basically Steam, when it downloads a file, it saves it as this weird GCF file with proprietary format for Steam. Um, and so you just need a file that you can use, or a program that you can use rather, to uh, open them up like zip files basically. Uh, and so that's GCFscape. I already have it installed, I'm not going to go through installing that. Um, but once you have that, in your Steam Apps folder, so uh, your com your name, your computer, Steam, Steam Apps, um, you have all of these GCF files. So there's Left 4 Dead 2, there's uh, some other source crap, there's Counter-Strike, uh, Magicka, blah, 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 any game really that Steam has. Uh, in this case, we just want Day of Defeat. So where are you? Where the hell are you, Day of Defeat? There we go, Day of Defeat source. So with GCFscape, I can just find this file, double click it, and it'll open fairly slowly because the program chugs a bit and it's really old, but it gets the job done. So here we go. This is day defeat. Inside of Dodd, there's all of these things. We got maps, models, materials, particles, script sounds, and really, um, Source Filmmaker can read almost all of these files. Uh, so I always try to bring in the maps, the materials, the models, the particles, uh, especially the particles, uh, and the sounds, because it's great to just have a massive sound library. Um, so once you have this program open, you just got to figure out where you want to drop them in Source Filmmaker. So if you navigate to your Source Filmmaker set, uh, folder, so it's under Common in uh, your Steam directory. So Common, find Source Filmmaker, Source, 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 Source. There we go, there he is. Open this guy, open this guy, and as you can see here, I've made folders for every um, game that I've imported here, uh, or chunk of game. So I'm just gonna create a new folder. Um, oops, new folder. DOD, source. Yep. Uh, yeah, so you can't put spaces in these, so don't, um, but yeah, so day to, day to feed source. Cool, so I got that, and now it's just a matter of grabbing all the things I want to bring over from GCFscape. Uh, yeah, so maps, materials, models, particles, sound. And just leave the file format, or folder format uh, structure completely intact here. Um, and so, oops, you could probably drag and drop these, but I haven't had a lot of luck with that, so I'm just going to go to right click it, go to extract. Uh, let's see, I don't want to extract there. Navigate to the directory, blah, 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 a lot of unsexy file navigation. Um, Steam apps, no cheating. Where the hell is it? God damn it, no common, sorry. Blech. Getting confused with my own damn tutorial. Um, the frig? Uh, Source Filmmaker. There we go. Open that crack up. Do it, defeat source, and go. And now it will extract some files and take a minute. So, you know. 
This is a good time for me to talk about a new Steam group I'm creating, uh, while this goes. It's Open Source Filmmaker. I made another video about this, but it's basically, uh, a community where people can get together and try and, um, find people to help out in your movie, uh, offer yourself up to help out on somebody else's movie, um, and just try and get a little bit of a community going where, where we got a lot of people who are, are really enthusiastic about movies collaborating with each other to make movies. Um, and, you know... It's a bit of a grand experiment. We'll see how it shakes out, but I'm feeling good about it. So, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff here. We got some forums. We got to, uh, it's really sparse right now. I just opened this up last night, so uh, we're still populating a lot of things. But you can go in there. You can make requests if you want to try and get somebody to make a, a model for you, maybe for one of your movies. Uh, see if somebody wants to make one out of the goodness of your heart. Here I've uh, posted up a little bit of a concept of a baby Portal 2 turret that I want somebody to make. Uh, just if they feel like it someday that I'll definitely use in a movie. Um, things like that. Uh, you know, here are some, here's some voice actors who want to throw themselves out there if people want to use them uh, in their films. Um, you know, I've got some... Uh, I posted up the Portal 2 uh, robot co-op robot rigs, uh, so if you want the IK rigs for those, you can find them here too as well. So there's a, a bunch of different... Um, uh, what's the word? Things? <laughs> a bunch of different things here that you can check out and see and maybe uh, just help you along your way in the movies you want to make. Um, so, yeah. Alright, looks like this is about done downloading. Yep. Oh, it's done. Okay, cool. So, we're almost done here. Just go to... Um, you just want to make one more edit in here to uh, make Source Filmmaker add your newly created Dodd Source folder to um, all the drop down menus. <sighs> so go into User Mod and you'll find a file called Game Info. Game Info is a pretty basic text file to edit. Um, however, every time a Source Filmmaker update comes out, this file gets blown away. So, um, it's always good to keep a backup of it so that you can, if you have a lot of edits to it, so that you can just repair it quickly. Um, but you want to open that file up. You'll find a bunch of stuff in here, but all we really want to worry about is this chunk that says search paths. So, as you can see, what you'll, you'll have like four entries in here. I've added quite a few more. Um, but all you really got to do is grab this, make a new line. Whoops. Uh, yeah, make a new line. Just tidy it up a little bit. And just add in the name of the folder that you've created, so dot source. Cool, and that's all we really need to do. So if I fire up uh, Source Filmmaker, oh god, I, re I no, 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 I, I typoed. Dodd source. Yeah, so do <laughs> don't have a typo, save that. Close it up, and uh, yeah. So fire up, if you fire up Source Filmmaker, uh, you know, slowly. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I like how Source Filmmaker loads just as slowly as any Source game. Like, it's such an amazing tool, but... <laughs> <laughs> they still have the same loading problem that you get when you're running between levels in Portal 2 or Half-Life or whatever. Um, so, let's see. Uh, I'll just create a new folder. I don't even need to load anything up here. All I want to show you is if I go to Create New Model, uh, look in the drop-down, you should see our Dodd Source. Oh no, Door Source! God damn it! Wait, I can fix this. I can fix this. Uh uh let me just <laughs> force my typo our nicely named door source um if i rescan everything here get rid of spy yay day of defeat guys awesome we got soldiers we got a rock we got a, a side of a building you know we got another side of a building we got an arch uh this thing you know We've just really beefed up the number of assets we have in here. Um, and also, 
pretty beefy and and great is that a lot of the particle systems should work too so if i go into uh door source particles i can go into like explosions open this up and uh yeah so i got a bunch of well some particles might come out broken like uh this purple explosion but other ones work so we got we got these uh these big poofs of smoke we got red poofs of red uh, and it's great, and you know, it's a, it's. I highly recommend you do this for as many source games as you want, because you never know. Um, you never know when you might find some great assets in a place you don't expect. Uh, so you know, have fun, get some stuff in your game. I highly recommend you check out the written tutorial that I'm gonna link here too. Um, but yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Yep, and there's one more thing to note in here that I forgot to mention, so I'm adding it in here at the end, is that this won't work for um, games that came out after Portal 2. So, Left 4 Dead 2 will have issues, um, Counter-Strike Go, Dota 2, uh, Portal 2 will have some issues as well, where um, your maps probably won't work and your models will appear invisible. However, somebody has created a fix for the model issue at least, um, which is this nice little fix models batch file. Uh, so in the text tutorial that I linked to, it has a, a place where you can download this and it's just a really simple batch file that goes in, copies all your models, changes like one line of code in them and uh, just spits them back out. Um, you only wanna run this on games where the models are not working. So don't try to run this on a game like Dodd Source where everything just works fine out the box. Cause it will, um, It'll take broken models and make them good, but if your models are already good, it'll take good models and make them broken, so uh, just be mindful of when you're running it. Um, also, try not to run it. Uh, like, it's... I haven't entirely figured this out, but um, I find best results by running it uh, just, just on the models and materials folders, so I would ex import the um, models and materials first fix the models and then bring in the maps as well. Sometimes I find it makes the maps not um, good. However, in a game like Left 4 Dead 2, uh, there's nothing you can do to make the maps good right now. So um, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, how you do stuff. Good uh, stuff. I'm gonna go back to sleep.